What's up guys, Gun here. We're going to talk about three defenses I'm keeping an eye on early on in this week for DraftKings and all of the NFL DFS contests that I'll be playing. Uh, I'm going to talk about three, uh, give you some reasons why I like them. Before I do that, remind you guys, we're going to have that voice chat this Saturday, the candle burn, rundfs.com VIP Discord. I want you guys in there, I want you guys talk some plays, talk some strategy, discuss processes man it's a lot of fun get to know a lot of like-minded players i don't know about you guys i don't know people in real life that play dfs so it's fun to have as much like-minded people uh in the discourse to bounce ideas off of uh whether it be in voice or in, in text chat if you guys want in on that run dfs.com go there sign up hit vip passes Try out a week pass if you want to. Two week passes are available. Month passes are there, and of course, you can lock in the full season. Remember the 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 passes do go up in October. Uh, just you know, over a month warning. That's when NBA is here. Uh, we have the double dip between the daily NBA and uh, NFL every weekend. It's worth the extra five bucks a week, but that's just a, a, a fair warning here. If you guys got anything for me, twitter.com slash gundagger sports. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, throw them in the comments below. We'll try and round up uh, anything we need to address in a video on Friday. And of course, I love to hear who you guys are digging defensively. I think a lot of people, myself, you guys, we're probably going to be on the same couple of defenses. So I don't think I'm going to shock anyone with any of these plays. But let's get cranked up. The first defense I'm going to be looking at, Cowboys, man. I think a lot of uh, my ultimate interest in Cowboys here is going to be whether or not Ezekiel Elliott plays. I think we're going to have that information relatively quick uh, in terms of when this video is released early Monday morning. Um, so it looks like Ezekiel Elliott extension talks could be done today. Uh, if it's not, there's still a case here for the Cowboys defense uh, with you know Tony Pollard and, and just how bad the Giants are. Uh, but that's basically why I like the Cowboys. They're at home. They're hosting a bad Giants team. I think the Giants right now are minus seven and a half underdogs in, in a lot of places. They're just not. They're not a good spot. And, and I like defenses that are touchdown plus favorites at home. Uh, and this is exactly what the Cowboys are. You don't often get this Cowboys defense healthy. And you probably won't have them healthy much longer, but if you can get Demarcus Lawrence, uh, Leighton Vander, uh, or Sean Lee especially, uh, Xavier Woods, you get these kind of guys uh, healthy against Eli Manning, who has nobody to throw it to. Odell's gone. Golden Tate suspended. Uh, murmurs about Sterling Shepard being injured. He's dealing with a thumb. Um, they don't really... Like it, 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 the the potential for turnovers are there, so I think the Cowboys are there. They're not going to be my highest owned defense, and maybe not my favorite defense, but I had to pick three here, uh, so they make the cut. Next defense I want to talk about is the uh, Baltimore Ravens. So this one's going to be a little unique. I usually like to stick to home defenses. That's usually just what I do. If the defense is not at home, I don't play them. But the Ravens kind of make that exception for me here. Um, Going into Miami, Miami's looking pretty rough, man. Uh, pretty much in full-on tank mode. Uh, trading away Larry Tunzel, Kenny Stills. They're already looking pretty rough after last season. It, it just seems like they're tanking, stockpiling picks, and just you know trying to build for the future. That's cool. I get it. They're being led uh, by Ryan Fitzpatrick. If I go into my... Uh, game notes in the rundfs.com VIP spreadsheet. Uh, I wrote it in my early game notes. Uh, um, Ryan Fitzpatrick led all quarterbacks last season in interception percentage, throwing 12 interceptions in eight games. If you guys are Jets fans, you know that's nothing new. That's what he does. He throws picks. He makes uh, bad decisions every now and then. He'll make some good ones and win a tournament. Uh, but the turnover potential is here. Uh, also, if we go to, uh, let's see, the sacks allowed. We can pull up sacks allowed, right? Let's go to stat muse. Uh, NFL sacks allowed last season. Pull that up at statmuse.com. Sacks allowed. Miami Dolphins, 52 sacks allowed. It's not what you want. 
It's not what you want. So sacks, the potential for turnovers, the interceptions, and Ryan Fitzpatrick, that's all there. And the Ravens are a sizable favorite here. So I like the Ravens a lot. Now, 3,800, you're going to have to go up there and get them. Maybe you're overpaying, but I've said it a few times. Even though they're the most expensive defense, there's going to be plenty of value this week that you're basically going to have the luxury to play whoever you want, wherever you want. Uh, and I think, you know, defense is no exception to the rule here. Uh, if we're talking about defenses for tournaments, you essentially need a defense that scores touchdowns. Uh, and that's why I like to target defenses that over, are over a touchdown favorite. I think the Ravens are probably going to be that by Sunday. Uh, there's going to be some strong cases against the, uh, maybe the Ravens. Maybe they're not familiar with this climate, this temperature, the humidity cramps in, in week one. Uh, and the Dolphins you know, coaching staff could uh, kind of surprise people. But I, I still like the Ravens here. Um, and then lastly, uh, my favorite defense of the week meets all the criteria from earlier uh, in terms of being a home defense, being a touchdown favorite. It's the Philadelphia Eagles, man. Nine and a half point favorites in some books. They're at home, and they're against the Washington Redskins or a who's who of who's that right now. Eagles uh, should have a great opportunity to steamroll this game, uh, be in charge most of the game, they're looking pretty healthy. Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson, uh, Ronald Darby, uh, Ronnie McLeod, Malcolm Jenkins. Uh, everything's looking good right now for the Eagles. Their offense is going to likely dominate, and their defense can uh, the whole, to uh, their defense should be able to withstand it. And then when opposing teams beget, uh, become uh, trailing by two possessions, they tend to make ill-advised throws, try, trying to force stuff. And the Eagles have uh, opportunities to uh, score a touchdown. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for touchdowns for my defense. And if you want to get really, really cute. Really, really cute. Um, I think this this Eagles team is going to be a running back by committee. But there's a lot of hype on Miles Sanders. 3,900 on DraftKings. He's listed as the second running back here. But Coach Peterson said in preseason that Miles Sanders is going to get his this season. He is also listed as one of the team's kick returners. Now, I don't expect the Redskins to kick off a lot in this game, but hey, you want to double dip Miles Sanders in a kickoff return in a lineup for tournaments? I don't hate that. Those are the three defenses I'm watching. <clears throat> if you want a bonus one, maybe think about the Seahawks a little bit. 3,100. They kind of fit the mold here. Home, home defense, large favorites. Maybe Clowney fixes stuff. You know, it's not the Legion of Boom. But their offense is going to run the ball 55% of the time. Milk the clock. 3,100. Can Andy Dalton choke uh, an interception or two? Can the Seahawks run it, uh, run one back? I think it's possible 3,100. They kind of fit the mold. Not part of the official three, but an extra bonus defense there. Those are three, three defenses I'm keeping an eye on early on this week. If you guys got any more for me, questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up. Shake it up. Remember... I haven't put up videos in a while, so YouTube's kind of pushing me back. But you guys can help bring me forward uh, by being active on the video, sharing the video. Uh, and hopefully, if you guys like the channel, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you guys got anything else for me outside, you can network with me at rundfs.com or twitter.com slash gundacker sports. Love you guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Good luck. God bless. Go win some money.